All right, all right, everyone. Hello, hello. This is Soulsor17 here. And I would just say this. The picture said my own. I mean, the thumbnail. This is not a paid video. All right, okay. So here's the thing. I have no idea where I'm going with this one. Um, The darkness one probably came out during while I'm working. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If not, then... Um, sorry. Uh, you know. And this one, this ship, there's only one ship. <laughs> uh, since there's gonna be Batman in it. Yes, I am having Batman. The Bat Family. Tim Drake. Gonna be, a, you know, in it and everything. You know. So there's like over here a whole bunch of things. Alright. Um, there's gonna be, like, a lot of interesting parts, but the one thing is, though, hmm, Izuku in this one is gonna be like Tim Drake, but with a little bit of Jason Todd mixed into it. Reason why, I can see Izuku being this way, too, a little having Jason Todd's personality is not one of them, though, but, um, street smarts and, you know, just having that way, then yes. So, yeah. But Zuku's gonna be more like Tim Drake. A lot more. So, yeah. Don't worry. So, um, how are we gonna start off? Okay, so. Tim Drake, you know, is alive in this one. Batman. All the villains in Gotham are around. Including the Joker and Harley. So, yes. That is a very, very, you know, funny moments happen in there. But while this is going down, everything in you know, Gotham, um, Inko basically is taking Zuka to the Quirk Doctor. And like in canon, they find out he's quirkless. And Inko is upset, but she does not show it. She, you know, when they get home, she does say sorry to him and everything else. But for some weird reason, um, Izuku basically is watching, you know, instead of All Might videos, it's Batman. Batman videos, the Boy Wonder and his past sidekicks, and, you know, even the Tim Drake ones. And, well, he's just, he's just analyzing all these videos on their style of fighting, which surprises Enko, but in this world, Quirks, a Quirkless boy isn't going to be useful to her. So, oh yeah, I did forget to say, this is what Deku was like, Tim Drake, part one. So yeah, so anyways, um, so not useful to her by what that means, like, not going to survive long in this world, and she doesn't want to bury her son, but she thinks he's going to die early. So, what she does, she raises him, teaches him how to, well, teaches him online school. Like, you know, get online school for him, and like, you know, at a young age, just so that way, you know, a program for to help him. That's what I mean, like, a program to teach him schooling, at least up until the first grade. Just enough. So, she even bought him all these books and everything else. But Inko on the inside, this happens just until he's six. And she finally had enough of him. Like She'd been feeling like he was not useful at all, but at times, she never even noticed. Izuku's body has been getting a little bit, like... I don't know, like, how can I say this right? His body mass and muscle is toned. He's been doing this for, like, a year. Like, two years now. Like, well, he started when he was four, so five, six. Yeah, two years he's been working out on his own. And I know Tim Drake almost taught, but this is because Izuku knows this. He's smart. He's not just gonna, like, wait around and let people bully him. No. And he, by the time before Inko, you know, the day before Inko leaves... He knew a long time ago she was going to leave him. And this is why he's been preparing. He basically will look up what happens to quirkless people. And how they're treated and such. Some even dying. And the world still has the same way it can with quirkless. 
So, it's just, yeah. He knew it, and that's why he's been training. So, four years old, already. Intelligence, way more higher than a four-year-old to under understand this. So, what he has done is train. He has read everything he can. And, yeah, Inko leaves, you know, Inko's, you know, by, blah, 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 words. Inko is getting ready to leave. And Izuku, at six years old, is in the doorway when Inko goes, uh, Honey, I'm not, you know, what's, what's wrong? And this is the middle of the night. He goes, so you're leaving, huh? And, you know, she's surprised by his, you know, words. He's speaking like he was, he's not a little kid anymore. His mind says more fluent for, like, if he was, like, a teenager. She goes, uh, honey, he goes, listen, I'm not going to blame you for leaving me. You're abandoning me. That's fine. I don't need you. <laughs> Go on. Live your life. I'll find a way to live. And he just goes to his room, basically, afterwards. This does not bring a tear to Inko, but on the inside, she kind of hurts a little. This is her son and Hasashi's. He's in America, but she doesn't know what's been going on, so she's going to go and see him. So, Inko leaves. You know, Izuku, you know, sleeps that night. He wakes up the next day and starts making breakfast. So, what he decides to do, he decides to learn. Learn how to, well, do all these different things. Like, pickpocketing, parkouring, um, analyzing people, you know, basically, like, quirk somebody on, like, get, like, a good read on them. So, he goes to the park and, well, when Bakugo tries to fight a kid, Izuku's there. You know, he gets in the way, Bakugo doesn't really know him, because he was homeschooled. He's like, hey, what are you doing? He goes, protecting somebody. Got a problem with that? And... Deku has been watching videos on fighting techniques that would be self-defense and offense tech fights fighting. So, yeah. And plus, he has been watching a lot of, well, by the fighting style also with Jason's and Todd's and the original, the original, well, you know, Robin. He can just at least get a few of their, like, punches or kicks down. And how well it's done. That's it. But not everything. So. Well, Bakugo. You know. Does have this quirk. He goes like. Fine. If you won't get out of our way then. We'll just have to beat you up too. And so. When Bakugo and the goons. Go at him. Izuku's in a fighting stance. And he goes straight for the leader. Which is Bakugo. In which. At his faster than Bakugo. Because his body is. Well. Built. To be strong. Basically, he punches Bak in the face, and well, the, the, and then after, and then five minutes later, they're all down in the ground. He goes, "Man, I knew I was strong, but this, wow, all right." As he basically looks at the kid, just in shock, he goes, "Get out of here!" He's right as you know, Izuku go walking away. And this is where Bakugo gets mad that he's following Izuku and, well, Deku, or, or should I say just Izuku because in this one, because he doesn't get the nickname Deku. And Deku just passes by when he sees a staff. And he goes, huh, I bet I can learn how to use this. Well, there was that one Robin that knew how to use a staff. I bet if, because I watched the video so many times, I can mimic it. As then he starts twirling, like, he just starts using the staff and just twirling it. And you're like, just mimicking what he saw in the video, but not, like, you know, to a very good degree. He's in a training. He says he's lacking in a lot of skills. But maybe he can probably, if he learns more about the world, he needs to go to the library and start learning about what he can. Baku goes, hey, you freaking nerd. He goes, hmm? Oh, it's you. What do you want? I beat you fair and square. If you can't take it, you know, a loss, then. Sorry. Get out of here. And he's just walking away with the pole <laughs> in his hand. Bako jump like you know, runs and jumps, try to throw an explosion, and then 
Deku like instantly like moves his body because he hears him saying die. So he he basically moves his body around and uses the pole hit Bakugo on the side of where his ribs is. Not with much force to break it, but you know. And he goes slams to the wall. He was like, "Well, you're done." And he just walks away. I mean, Ski heard Bakugo yelling out die. She comes over. The kid, you know, Izuku's gone. And that's it. Like, she doesn't know what happened. Baku says, Who is he? So, yeah. So, we're doing a time skip. For, six, for you know, when he's eight years old. Izuku has became very, very smart. And I don't mean, like, you know, smart enough to be... How can I say this right? He is smart... Not onto Nezer's level, though. He is smart enough to somehow, in some way, build a, well, <clears throat> an AI. It helps him, ha you know, find place, like, find everything he needs, right? Basically, he's able to find stores that have cheap prices. Um, he's able to find even, like, criminals. Heck, even criminal accounts and basically backtrack it to where the account really is. Take a little bit of money of, out of each one, and then boom. Leaving no bad trace and everything. So he's able to pay rent. He's able to, you know, do whatever he needs. He learns a lot more from school and then the streets. Heck, when he was seven, he was surrounded by, like, 15 kids. He was only, like, he's only seven, basically, they think. Because <laughs> he, you know, pickpocketed one of them. He got caught. Because one of them looked and saw him do it. Which was the only time he ever got caught. This was the only time. So basically, they followed him to an alleyway. They thought, <laughs> we got him now. There was a trash can, a dumpster, and then a fire escape. You know what he did? Izuku basically did this strategy. He, he thinks, okay, if I jump, jump, go up, and then I can probably... And then he looks through, there's another trash bag. And there's a trash bag and, you know, everything there. He goes, I can probably jump on that and then get out of there. So, since he never fought in a larger group, he does that, and which it works, but heck, he actually flows a flower pot right at one dude's him in the head, even from another one, and it hits the guy right in the head again, but he also, but this one knocks into a person, making him fall down, then he jumps off the fire escape right into trash, and then runs. They never saw Zuku again, because he snuck, he basically blended into the crowd way too good. <laughs> uh, they're like, freak! So, yeah. So, basically, that's what happened to him when he was seven. Just like, you know, this is how Zuku works. You know, thinks, right? So, yeah. But, anyways. Since Zuku basically is going through, like, you know, life, he decides he needs to have gear, like, legit gear, if he's going to be out in public and be quirkless. Like, he's not going to be a vigilante. Well, he is, for now at least, to get some combat experience, but... Oh, I need to check my, my battery. And, okay, so yeah, he needs to get combat experience, and then learn from somebody. But he doesn't know who. So, what happens is, he decides to do something to the best genius in Japan... Well, not the Arozus. You know, they are a quirk gear manufacturer, you know, support items and many more things. So they have a lot on their plate, but they but he's thinking, how about David Shield? I mean, I could at least get like a few things like armor pieces, blueprints and that's it. So maybe, yeah. Maybe I can also then use them to test out like make a natural See what systems they use. So that way I can actually at least get like a, um, no, 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 can't make, I have, well, I can't, you know, have, but I can use to find somewhere that has it that makes something that I can use. So, what he does is, he does hack into David Shield's system. He does get blueprints. He does get the information he needs. But the thing is, though, he also finds out about All Might's. Like, All Might's problem, quirk, you know, off of one. He's finding out everything. Heck, even Batman. And, like, it's there's, like, videos of, like, 
of Batman coming out of nowhere, and then there's no Bruce Wayne. Then when Batman leaves, Bruce Wayne's there. He's thinking, wait. As, you know, he does, like, bring up the two images of Batman and Bruce and puts it together. Like, he, you know, he looks, he says, same body type movement. Wait, could, could Bruce Wayne be Batman? Nah, nah. Wait, maybe. As he does, like, bring the pictures together. If you take away the mask and the costume, just put a tuxedo on, he could be Bruce. So... Because it's the same body type. Maybe just a little extra padding. But that's it. Same body type. Same muscle movement. It looks like. He was. No way. Um. It. Because Azuku has been watching people over the years. He can. You know. Detect. When something's similar to some people. Because if you don't know. Um. I think everyone knows. But Tim Drake. When he was a kid. He only saw one time. The original Robin. Do a. Triple backflip or front flip, as then it was on the kit. It was on the chance show, not show TV, and it was shown that he uh, he was able to detect this. I mean, you know, he was able to like, already put the pieces together that Rob that you know the actual first Robin was you know that character who became, who's I don't know the name, but who became Nightwing and all that. So yeah, that Robin. And then, and then one reboot comic I um, looked up, he was actually almost close to finding out who Batman is at a young age. So as Zuku's younger, he learned a lot more. He's basically is really smart, like Tim, but he's way more like ahead because of him had to learn very quickly and just reading a whole lot more, just doing everything he can to survive. So he just giving himself all this knowledge as fast as he can just so he can survive everything so yeah surviving the world without a mother yes he does get his food he does cook and clean he does take everything he even pays his own rent the landlord only like has him pay like 50 like 50 yen i'm just gonna like 100 yen that's it because he's alone the reason why he hasn't gone to an orphanage is because the the landlord's just been thinking he take care of himself this kid's already a, Above anyone. So, I mean, I can only charge him 100 at least. Just make it fair for him since he's a kid. I don't know how he gets the money, but I'm not going to ask. So, yeah. So, anyways. So, Zuku basically gets into the system. Like I said, he got that. He got the videos and such. But he does spend too much time. So, basically, David's just finds out that someone had to do a system and then you know De i mean izuku i mean and then yeah and deku is basically like Sh crap 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 shit shit so he basically is like trying to like erase any back traces he had but david already got it and he's like what the nah this can't be so you know izuku's thing is he goes okay i may be safe but i have to try to make my signal if he didn't catch it Probably did. This is David's shield, so maybe, yeah. Okay, so Izuku is basically erasing all traces, like just through his signal, through bouncing the signal that he originally had. But David Vergara got a lock on, and well, just because, freaking builder, you know, inventor, jet, a miniature jet that basically launches him to the point where he can get there. In a matter of minutes, well, in a matter of five minutes, to you know the area where he you know get the back, you know get in the trees. So um, he comes over to where the apartment building is. Since it's so small, it can land in that area. But he did call the authorities just to let them know, and they say, "What? Someone hacked into your system? How? I, I don't know." So the, if you're wondering how did he do this, if he was not around, easy. Um, he did it from how can I say this? He got into one of David Shield's satellites, which then laid information to his system, and boom, that's how he did it. And oh, Zuko thought, okay, he's probably still, he's gonna find me, so I'm gonna try to like make the bouncing off everything. But he did not know the system when Dave, the system already had it, like got his location when he was starting to do that, like bouncing off the signal when it said, you know, when the firewalls were coming on, because. 
David is smart to have at least a system like that. So yeah, so David walks all the way up to Izuku's apartment. He knocks on the door. He's like, bro, the landlord. So he goes to the door and he goes like, I'll get you if it's your money that you need. I can get it tomorrow. He looks up and it's David. He goes, a, a, a kid? Hacked into my system? He's like, uh, uh, hey, Mr. Shield. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry for hacking into your system and taking some blueprints for armor and such, but I kind of need it because, um, well, uh, you can see I'm a kid. And David's like, yeah, um, c can I come in? He's like, uh, sure. And he comes in, he, you know, Izuku's apartment's clean, but he does have, like, a pretty good setup with computer area and such, so. Unless he does have, like, a 3D printer. I mean, Izuku's not, like, freaking dumb. He's able to make so with 3D print, with the 3D printer and such, so that way, you know, he can test out some things if it works or not. So, yeah. Yeah. He actually has even welded his, well, the staff that he got to, well, the metal pipe into a staff. To work for him, he has learned how to skateboard just from trial and error. So, even rollerblading, believe it or not, I made it. I'm making it. I'm biking. So, yeah. Yep. And David's like, seeing all this, he's like, uh, Kid, where's your mom? He's like, Uh, she left me when I was six. Um, you want anything to eat? Drink? Uh, I don't got water and soda, plus juice and um, eats, macaroni, chicken. Uh, noodles, basically mostly that, and bread, fruit. He's like, uh, and he meets you, he's like, yeah, I mean, oh, crud, it's already 5 o'clock. Alright, yeah, I might want to stay here and eat then. So, Izuku basically goes to the refrigerator, he had hamburger meat, you know, just being unfrozen. So then he just starts cooking that. He just starts making... He starts making hamburgers, but he's putting a little bit of stuff in there. Then he's like adding like vegetables with it too. And fruit, such. Just anything. And David's just, you know, asking questions like, How did you get into my system? He was like, Um, kind of just use your satellite, hack into it, you know, basically then get it, using that to then have a back entrance into your system. Basically, then I was able to hack my way through all the firewalls well the low level ones just to get armor and equipment and such that's all just the blueprints or theories on what could work what not could work tried it out myself and just do that i mean i didn't think the higher level security was gonna come on i mean i started at three so i guess it took like three hours i mean an hour and a half for you to try it try to find me well, try to you know, activate the system of firewalls and all that stuff. <laughs> David's just thinking, uh, yeah, so you only took, like, what? He goes, oh, you see on the computer? There's a file with all the, well, stuff there. So he goes over to the computer, he presses the file, he goes, like, uh, just armor, new gear that could help you? Even a kid, this this is just a theory, but a cloak, basically a cloak and a shield? Is yeah, pretty much. I'm trying to upgrade the bow staff I have as it, you know, I'm leaning against the wall. He goes, I mean, I'm gonna make it better, but eh. And plus, I mean, <laughs> I kind of have some gloves too with helping me with my punches. Uh, man, it stinks. I don't really. I like to go into more tactical fighting, but if I need to, I go into more of a brawler style. It's when I'm surrounded and it works. But it does get me beat up a lot, so, you know. And they would just ask again, where's your mother? Like, seriously, kid, you, you cannot live on your own and survive. You're only, like, held? Eight? Eight, yeah, I'm only eight. I turned eight about three months ago. Wow. Huh, it's been two years since my mom left me. Oh, well. You know, he's just cooking. I mean, meat's getting cooked and all that. And David's just shot. He's still shot out. An eight-year-old hacked into his system, got blueprints, and was about to leave. So he just asked, "Why was the reason why you didn't cover your tracks sooner?" He was like, "Oh, the Batman video." He was, "Huh?" 
Because, yeah, you see, on that one screen that's um, to the left, um, yeah, basically to the left, basically, as he looks and he sees the video of Batman and Bruce, he goes, what? He goes, yeah, if you can't tell, that's uh, padding right there. And so, basically, he would, if you took away that and just take away the suit, the Batman suit, just to keep the mask on, though, you and put the regular suit onto, you know, Batman, you know, basically the suit from that Bruce Wayne wore in the, in the video, put that on, boom, automatic, Bruce Wayne, uh, you mean, yeah, I, it's a, but that's only a theory I have, but if it's true then, <laughs> wow, world's great detective, was, was actually figured out by a kid, eight years old, it's, like, uh, it's also just common sense, you put two and two together and such, so yeah, so, after Eden and, you know, talking to Deku and seeing how smart he is, and, you know, even even more surprising, he's quirkless, just like his daughter, he decides to take Deku, you know, back home with him. Um, tell the, you know, and basically just show him around. He even tells the landlord that he may want to adopt him. And the landlord just says, good, because that kid is way too nice. He helps out around this place. He does anything he can. Heck. One time, someone broke into one of the people's apartments. He found them out where they were last year, and he took them down. I mean, he took them down like they went to jail, and they were nearly, nearly, um, terrified to ever walk out of the house, out of their, out of the jail again. He's like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "We don't know. I don't know what the kid did, but for some weird reason, the kid just." Just made him, like, literally, to say it was the Batman. He watched a lot of videos on the Batman, I he told me, when he was four years old. And the tactics he used to fight and all, people had videos on it. So, he learned from them, I think. He was smart enough to use the tactics that Batman does, but improve it on himself to be a little bit more... How can I say this? As then, David says, extreme... Yeah, I think so. We don't know. No one knows. We don't ask questions with him. He helps us out. We just don't care. I'm opening up my window, everyone. Sorry, just had to tell you that. So yeah, so David takes Suzuku to his to island. He's looking at everything. He's amazed by it. Heck, he even talks about this. Well, this third D, the three D printer back home he has isn't compared to this one. I mean. This can make more material that's very more durable than his. I mean, you just hit it once with his, and it'll just break easily. I mean, the only reason why is he can only make certain weights because of it. <laughs> and that's all. And David's impressed by the kid's knowledge. And he meets Melissa, you know. He meets Melissa and all, and, well, they seem to hit it off. But the most surprising like, thing is... David asks, you know, Deku saying, Do you want to me to adopt you? He's like, huh? He goes, yeah. Want me to adopt you? He was like, uh, are you sure? I'm, I'm corkless. As David says, my daughter's corkless too. And I love her. And so, Izuku starts to cry and just say, are you, are you really sure? You know, basically, just like acting like a little kid, because Persona... You know, he his mind is old. Well, his mind is still a kid, but his knowledge is not of one. So, he knows a lot more than what a normal kid should know. And David says, "Of course, all kids deserve love and you know happiness. You're just one of them too." He was really Mr. Shield. He was, yeah. Your mom made the wrong choice in leaving you. So, is that a yes? He goes, yeah. What about all my stuff at home? He goes, well then, we'll just get it all. So Melissa's saying, so wait, that means I'll have a brother? And Melissa is older than him. Um, I think she would be, I need to look up her age now. Hold on. Alright, so Melissa's 17 from the movie, so she's four years older than him. So since he's eight, she would be, wait, she would be 12. So she says, I'm going to have a little brother? 
You know, and all that. And David says, of course, yes. She's happy and excited. Deku's, you know, happy to, you know, get a family. And so, after the whole entire few days of getting the papers ready and, you know, going and having all his stuff being packed, David does say to him, finally, welcome home, Izuku. Izuku's shield. <laughs> so, you know, he goes to his room and from there on, Deku has met many people, many inventors, many different pe heroes, even All Might, which All Might is like an uncle to him now. But, you know, he's been living on the island. He does, he has lived on the island since he was, well, as from eight years old, he's been living on there since he was 12. He does tell Mr., well, his father, that he would like to go back and, you know, since he'd been doing school online, and even Nezu taught him, even Nezu was impressed by his intelligence. Uh, you know, you know. So he decide, and he basically says, "I would like to go home, you know, go back to Japan and you know, finish my, you know, online school in there and such, in a place, you know, a place of my own." David, you know, understands. Basically, Izuku has. Made his own suit, um, if he, because he ha does have that dream to go into UA, but at the same time he doesn't know if he can because he's corkless. But he has been training nonstop, more intensely than Canon Deku would have been. So, if I could judge him, he could be at least maybe not stronger than Batman. No, never, never a million years. Probably when the first Robin started out, um, no, uh, when the when Tim started, yeah, he could be at least somewhere in that ball range. But since he's been working out for years, and then intense, he could be like in the middle range of him, but not that strong. So enough to basically knock out a person in one punch, that you know hasn't worked out at all. So yeah. So anyways. Is it, so basically, David agrees as long as they make preparations for him. Where she goes, he nods and such, and yeah. So this happens. They find a place. They modify the house to be well, with his automatic system. He does have his own little lair. Izuku has gone to being like, even though he has a love of family, he can be cold at times to new people or heartless. So it's like. Some emotions are, there's still some emotions there, but it's just that cold attitude is sometimes not. So. Ah, uh, now I remember his name, the first Robin. Uh, I remember. I'm not going to say it, though. So, yeah. So, Zuka's 12, he moves into the house, um... David does will be giving him allowance for every test he takes, so he does like graduate though from high school. I mean, from not high school, from middle school early, but he is he doesn't go to high school. So right right around he's twelve in the middle of it, you know, like in the middle of the school year he he's done. Like he he basically is done with middle school. They say his intelligence is on too high of a level. I mean, of course. If you had Nezu teach you, <laughs> of course you are. He, Nezu and his intelligence are probably high. But since, you know, but it's like Nezu and him don't like, you know, they have a common understanding that Izuku may be more intelligent than him. But he likes to talk to Nezu about the little things instead of like big problem, problematic problems. Because it's like... Let's just enjoy life. Let's not worry about anything and just have fun sometimes. So, yeah. When talking, I mean, not in general. So, I mean, Izuku has to wait a year. Oh, wait, two years. Wait, you know, a year and then 14 to try to get into hero school. But if he can't then, David knows he's planning to become a vigilante if needed. Because his heroic dream is to protect people. So it doesn't matter which. And David's not going to 
tell All Might. All Might doesn't even know it. Alyssa knows, and, well, she's worried about her baby brother. So, um, he has invented... He... I don't want to say he makes this outfit, but... Since he's not a Robin, and he doesn't want to go with Bat, he does want to go with... Crow. So he does make like he he basically goes with the crow look at least. He even gets like the the mask, like it's like this costume he makes, but it's just with the crow and like the crow look and everything. All black and a little bit of red. So yeah. And he does wear combat he does wear boots and shin guards and basically Basically, the armor, I mean, the suit has, like, it's bulletproof, knife-proof, but very flexible and breathable at the whole time. It can heat up if it's in the cold. He does have um, his own motorcycle he built and, you know, he got his license for. But it, it's only good when he's, a, you know, when he's when he hits 14, at least. So, yeah. And this one, they age is 14 for him. He can drive. So, yeah. Anyways... And so he has many different things. Um, he has built many different like weapons, but mostly nunch. He uses mostly nunchucks, bow staffs. No, he does have bladed weapons, but not really. He does idolize Batman, but also Aizawa and the Robins. Um, even Jason Todd when he was a Robin, but he heard about then like it was announced he became Red Hood. So it's like, eh, he doesn't really like the killing part, but I mean, he, you know, he, he can, like, enjoy what he does, like, through the combat parts. So, yeah. So, anyways. We're gonna, this is, so, Izuku basically worked on his, you know, increasing his armor to be a little bit more persistent to some attacks, elemental attacks and such, and physical help him out, too. And some things, and basically what though for this um since he was twelve when he moved out, he graduated in the middle. That's what he's also been doing afterwards. So when he hits thirteen years old, and when supposedly the day of the enemy, the sludge villain attacks, and he's not the one he's getting attacking, just some random kid in Bakugo and an All Might. Am I making Bakugo the successor? No. Maybe. Who knows? Wait, I did I, I didn't I did say I did not know what I was who was I gonna do? Eh. Well let's just say hmm, let's just give it to somebody else. Hmm. Hmm. Let's give it to Jiro. I do not know why. I think Jiro will be able to use it pretty well. So yeah. So anyways. Wait, no, no, not not Jiro. Nah. Eh, let's just let's yeah, let's give it to Bakugo because Bakugo is gonna need a lot. <laughs> but you know, Deku coming up with plans. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways. So what happens is though when he's thirteen, the day of the anime too. It goes like this. That night, he heard about the news, and that night, he goes over to the area. He just looks at it, and he goes like, ah, Seriously, why do pro heroes always think their quirks are useless? Couldn't they have just worked together? They could have maybe, you know, done something with a sludge villain. He, he basically thought, like, multiple ways. One of them could have been this. The guy with his arms could have you know, tried to get Baku while the... Fire hose hero. Instead of you know not keeping the civilians at bay, he could have also used his water to hit the sledge villain, and it would have like distract him enough maybe to get the kid out of there. He does remember the kid though when he fought him. He never knew his name, but yeah. And so, Izuku has also he doesn't keep the. I don't want to say he keeps the green hair because he doesn't really he. 
still wants to, he doesn't really want to care about Inko, but at the same time, he still has a picture of her at least. So he just, he basically had S.H.I.E.L.D. invent something that makes his hair turn all black. So, yeah. So, anyways. You know, just like that, he could have, like, you know, taken down the sledge drone at least, and then somebody could have just used, like, Mount Lady could have just made a wind pressure enough to blow away the sledge villain too. Who knows? It's all a matter of not relying on All Might. He thinks All Might is too much of a symbol that people think, oh, heroes are always going to you know, come save the day. This is what society is. And he kind of says it's flawed. But back in, the, you know, back in America, they don't have it like this. They have the Justice League. You know, Justice League, yes, but they will also rely on law enforcement, which is... Which this needs to happen here. And then he was banging, you know, gunshots. And, well, this is when he meets a certain somebody. So he runs over to where, you know, when the gunshots are being heard. He then hears laughter and basically saying, Catch me if you can, covers! <laughs> you know, and all that. And, well... Basically, you know, there's a girl hanging off of the the vehicle, right side, I mean, left side of the vehicle, throwing something out, but a cop shoots her in the shoulder, which, you know, she falls out of, and Zuku sees, and, like, she did roll into the alleyway, and Zuku runs over to her, and her hair, we're doing Suicide Squad look, so, yeah, her hair is pink and blue, you know, with highlight, then, like, you know, yellow. If you all know, you know what Harley Quinn is. Um, I'm not going to bring up a picture of it, but what she's wearing is kind of like the animated Harley Quinn TV show look. So, yeah. The only reason why she was there is because the Joker basically just, like, brought her in. Or he would have killed her friends just for this one last crime. And, well, he she told the Batman about it, and, yeah, so, Bat's saving her friends, she got shot, though, um, and, like, like Zuku says, hey, you alright? She was like, does it look like I'm alright, kid? No, I'm not. I can't believe I let the Joker do this to me, and he knows about the Joker, he heard about it, he's like, so, you're Harley Quinn? Yeah. Got a problem with that? He's like, no. Look. I don't know what's going on, but hey, if you're a dragon to this for some reason or some reason or another, I mean, I don't really want to help you. I'd rather just turn you into the police, but hey, you're shot. And by the looks of it, as you know, he does look at the bullet, he says it looks like they're aiming for your head, so. And she goes, how can you tell? He was like, the bullet was going more, it was like going a little bit straight, but it was also leaning to the it was her left shoulder, so it was also leaning to the right a little bit. If she didn't, if she didn't move at a certain time, she would have been shot in the head. So she was like, "God, you know." And this is a corrupt cop that did it. As one of the officers saying, "Hey, you could have killed her." And he was like, "So she's just a villain." And like the police chief heard that, he was like, "I'm gonna arrest this guy." So yeah. So basically, he picks her up, bridles down, just runs. All the way home. Well, as fast as he can. In which she's just thinking, how could this 13 year old just pick me up like this? And well, she she puts her hand like right on his side. Basically like, because he basically did jump. She's like, ow! And you know, it's like right um, because it, he's holding her away from his, um, her left shoulder away from him. So it's like, you know, but it's still her, her so left hand touches just and well let's just say Harley's face just went immediately red because she did not expect the 13 to you know be this way gotta check the time so yeah I need to check out how old Harley is but don't you guys worry I am not gonna you know they're not gonna do anything um you know how I am but he is well something's gonna happen though that's all I'm gonna say so yeah so basically, Harley and him, um, you know, arrive at his house, which surprised her. 
she didn't think a kid like him had a house this, well, fancy. He was like, it's nothing special. I had my own room, and I was on an island all my life after eight years old. The doors automatically open, and the system says, Welcome home, Mr. Shield. And she goes, Shield? You mean, like, David Shield? like, no. Zuku Shield is a adopted son. He just walks in. He puts her on the couch. He says, uh, let's just call this. Not, I was about to say Jarvis, but I do not want to make a reference to... Actually, yeah, let's just make a reference to, you know, Marvel and Tony Stark. So he says, Jarvis, can you bring me the first aid kit and tweezers, you know, plus the, well, x-ray goggles. Says, right away, sir, basically. As some little robot hands come over with the, well, med kit, tweezers, and goggles, he goes, thanks. You're welcome, sir, basically. And he puts him on. Because he does not want to have a butler. <laughs> you know, he, he he will have a butler, but just not like he doesn't want one right now. It's like when he's in the future. He just wants to have one just to have some company if he's alone. So, yeah. So, basically, he, put, he gets out everything that needs to be done, you know, to get the bullet on and such and keep the wound good. And so, with the X-ray goggles, he can see where the bullet is. And he does not see none, but he does see that um, this is going to take a while to heal. So he starts sealing up the wound after telling her to bite down on this, and, well, he heats up the needle. So after doing that, even, like, numbing it on both areas, on both sides, the entry and exit wound, he then starts sewing her up. And he's like, this is going to take a couple of days, even weeks. So, you can stay here. You know, and that's after he's done. And she goes, what do you mean, stay here? He was like, I'm not going to let you go out and be, you know, killed off or, you know, whatever happened with the Joker. If so, then, we should call Batman or something. If you even have his number. <laughs> it would have Batman's number. Besides the Justice League. And Harley says, true. So... So basically, she just asked, "What?" So basically, Izuku Shield. Hmm. Do you have a girlfriend? He's like, "No, I don't. I'm very much alone." She was why? He was like, "One, I've been on the island for most of my life. Two, from four to six, my mom at least raised me to you know live on my own. Then from six to eight, I live from the, on the I didn't live on the streets, but I survived by, you know, stealing, you know, pickpocketing, fighting people, doing what I could to survive and stuff, and even hacking into some villains' accounts and taking their monies. Taking the money only a little by little. And what she surprised, and she was, anything else? He was, um, yeah. I trained my body to the point where a cork person would never be able to beat me. So, yeah. And plus, I kind of idolize all. I kind of have like a idolize Batman thing going on. So, yeah. And she kind of laughs at this, saying, "Yeah, the bats is always lonely besides having his boy wonders around." He goes, "Huh, really?" She goes, "Mm-hmm." And by the way, if you're wondering, is Tim older than him now and like became his own person? Yes. Um, Tim is basically his own Batman's by himself. That girl did come around too, and the Joker did do what he did to, you know, her in the comics. You know, shot her, now she's paralyzed. So, yeah. So, what happens is, a couple of days go by. Him training, taking care of Harley, him just having a couple of jokes here and there. She's laughing at them. Then they grown closer, you know, he's even helping her, you know, walk around and such, which, you know, she does want to go outside, but the whole entire thing that was the first time was very embarrassing when he gave her clothing and setting up the bed, Harley just doesn't care. Well, changing right in front of me, he was like, Harley, come on. She's like, what? He was like, nothing. Look, and he's not even looking, he's like, I'm gonna go this way. Just 
just be quick so I can help you into, you know, getting to your bed. She's like, okay, wait a minute. Is this the first time you've seen ever seen a girl change? He's like, a woman, not a girl. I had a sister, but still, you know, she just chuckles and goes like, all right, fair enough, kid. He's like, whatever. So he just walks out, closes the door. And that was like the first night. And ever since then, she does have been teasing him here and there. So, and it did take a while for the wound to heal. But she never told Izuku. Like, she always just says, I can take care of it myself. And she's just been faking it. So instead of being like a couple of weeks and such, Harley and him, she's been staying with him. I mean, he isn't stupid. He knows she's just faking it. So, um, right around, so basically it has been, well, time, we're doing a little bit of a time skip to like three months. So yeah, Harley's been living with him for three months now, and she's enjoying her time. It's been really fun. She even figured out some things about her, well, herself and why she, if she, well, has feelings for Deku or Zuku, which she doesn't know yet. <laughs> She's still trying to figure it out. So she just finally asked, So what's your type in girl? You know, what type of girl you like? He goes, eh, don't really have a type. Because, well, first off, I already told you, I'm quirkless. So girls always go after the ones with quirks. It doesn't matter if I'm smart, handsome, or, well, physical fit. As long as basically someone, as long as this world has quirks, every girl is going to want a guy with a quirk. So yeah. And she goes, I don't have a quirk. Plus, you know about superpowers. Now I'm quirks. Maybe you can get one. He goes, <laughs> I do have one. She goes, what? He points to his brain. He goes, he goes like the Batman. Always using brains over barons. He goes, like, of course. That's how I survived for this long. That's how I got into my life. I had to do David Shield's security was like a piece of cake. Then you got caught though. He's like, yeah, I was trying to figure out Batman's secret identity. And where she just laughs and goes like, no one can ever figure it out. In which, Izuku's thinking himself, I did. And I'm, well, smarter than everyone. Smarter than, smarter than well, everyone in this room. It's just me and her. <laughs> he does have like a little bit of a cockiness to it, but he goes, wait, I'm nope, don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. That leads to downfall. Downfall leads to you dying. So, yeah. So yeah, basically. So, um, Harley keeps like you know pressuring him on like, you know, on different types of topics of if people ever want to go on a date with someone, wherever you go and such, and to, she's finding out that she really likes him. But, you know, she did ask if, you know, she could have her own laptop and such, and Zuku had like plenty, but he had one. He just bought a new one for her, so he went. You know, so when he came back, he gave her it. He just set up everything for her, just not the password. And she says thanks. So she starts researching everything in Japan. And, well, Japan laws and everything else. And, well, you know, she's getting, she's realizing it could work if I want to date him. But we just can't make kids. So, yeah. Plus, if I get hit by Asian quirk by three years... Wait, uh, how old is he? He's going to turn 14 soon, so... Mm. Yeah, and this is where I should have looked up the age. Okay, so she's 25, and he's going to be turning 14. Harley says if I get hit by an aging quirk, an aging quirk to turn myself into the same age as him, I mean, of course I'm going to have to live through puberty, but having a great, you know, having a nice boyfriend like him would be worth it. <laughs> so yeah, so basically that's how she sees it. But, you know, also during this third month, they he asks her questions since she has been asking so much of him. And they she talks about her life and then with the Joker, how everything happened, even Gotham, and becoming a shrink for Arkham Asylum. Thinking she could change the Joker, but, you know, he changed her and he turned her into what she is today. In which he says, I like it, though. He goes, huh? I'm crazy. He goes, so? I'm smart. You're crazy. Doesn't really matter to me. And besides, in any case, I can stop you. She goes, in what way? He was like, 
any way possible, I guess. Even the Batman way. She means by brutally beating up somebody to the point where they're near death. He goes, yeah. But for you, I have a certain way I can think of. As she just, because she's an adult, her mind go into that way. But then, he, you know, he goes, not in that way, though. He's like, and she goes, whew, okay, thank God. I thought we were going to have <laughs> issues here then. Because, well, she realizes she's wearing a, she's not wearing a good shirt to be around a teenager. She just was like, crap. And he goes, don't worry, I have control of my emotions. So, even my urges. He goes, really? He goes, yeah, I'm not, well, besides, I don't really think you ever would like me. She, which, that gets her confused. When he was, she says, but I'm quirkless too. So he goes like, yeah, and I'm still, well, useless to everyone. I'm smart, yes, but to everyone else, if I try to become a hero, then you're a criminal. But, hey, I don't care at all, honestly. I can be friends with you, but if we were trying to be more, then I don't know if it worked out. She goes, wait, have you thought about that? And he was like, yeah, pretty much. I mean, we get along somewhat. So my mind went there at first, and then, you know. So, yeah, she kind of looks upset, but he goes, hey, I'm still going to be a good friend. Right? She goes, mm-hmm. And then he does say, also... It's glad to see that your shoulder healed up. And she goes, uh, how long do you... He goes, well, after the first month, it was obvious. Well, before the first month, it was obvious. It only took, like, almost four weeks, but you healed pretty quickly, as I heard. She does like, kind of chuckle about this. He goes, then why have you been... He goes, I don't like to be alone sometimes, and I haven't had company here in a while. I don't have many friends. I've been online schooling. I've been done for about a year of school. I just have to wait till I go to high school. So I've been studying, working, all my stuff here that you see me doing, yeah. So after that, we, we skip to six months in. And this is where something happens. Harley and him have been coming, well, not, not a six month in. But we skip to the next month. So the next month, you know, happens. Harley and him have became closer. Not to, like, you know, gain some feelings, but haven't been able to tell each other because of, well, they don't know. Izuku doesn't want to tell her because of how old she is, and he doesn't know if it'll work out, even though he knows the laws, and he is turning four. he turns turned 14, so, yeah. And, well, hold on. So, yeah, so he doesn't know, but anyways... Harley, Harley's the same way, but um, it's because his age, she doesn't know that she, he'll like someone in her 20s. But they do like each other, and she thinks he's the perfect guy. They have gone over and see that Harley's in mind does go after some like, really messed up people, but at the same time, it's like she just wants to have someone that's care about her. And the Joker, obvious, never cared about her, so she hates him even more than, well... Anything, actually. So, what happens is, Harley's asleep, Deku's up. He has not been sleeping for you know, three days now. It's almost the middle of the, five, the fifth month that he has not been sleeping. Because of him... And just been trying to figure out how to tell Harley how he feels. It's always on his mind at night. He him and her live in, like, you know, different areas. He has, like, three rooms. I don't know, three or four guest rooms, so yeah. So basically, the security system goes off. Harley hears it. She doesn't. She knows what's happening. Deku, you know, knows. He tell. He basically tells Jarvis to tell her, you know, her to stay in her room, no matter what. Which Harley's saying, I am not going to listen to him at all. You tell him that. As in, you know, Deku can hear and goes, Harley, this is my house, my rules. Don't come out of your room. Because I am not a child, basically. He goes like, don't make me come in there and tie you down to a bed. And then she just smiles and goes like, ah, not in that way. And she goes, she just laughs. And then she goes, fine. You better not die, though. He goes, I won't. And basically, he goes, stun gun, sir. He goes, yeah. And so 
the ha a panel in the house opens up and shoots out a stun gun. Basically, this will shoot like, bullets that will, you know, paralyze somebody in, a, like, in one shot. Has enough voltage, no matter how big you are or how much, you know, body fat you have. It targets the nerves, which will basically be anywhere on the body would keep you knocked out for about three hours. So, what Deku does is, when there is a, an explosion, well, when the door gets kicked down, Deku immediately shoots, you know, one. But, you know, it looks like though it would have been just a rifle that won't shoot one bullet, but no, 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 no. It's not just one, it's not just a rifle, it's a shotgun. Yeah, you really think I was going to give him a rifle. It's a shotgun. It's a spurt shot. So, these people rush into his house. They get shot and hit. Three people at once. And then another, like, two people come in. They get shot. And, well, what happens? So he hears something. He's like, ah, you can never find good service around here anyways. As a man in a purple suit. You know, green hair, green or black hair, a smile on his face, like, and a knife in his hand. I'd be like, kid, just give me back my girlfriend and, well, we can leave you alone. And even after you did this to my men, I'll let you live. How about that? And he goes, Joker, your reputation precedes you on never being trusted. You always are wild and crazy. Basically, if I even let you get near Harley. Who knows what you'll you have her do. Besides, isn't her friend safe by now from the Batman? By the Batman. Which, Joker's like, Ugh. And the only reason why you need her, because Batman's on his way, and he's going to then beat you up to a bloody pulp. Isn't that right? So you need her as a, as a human shield, which Harley's like, clenching her fist from, you know, even hearing the Joker's voice, he goes like, <laughs> Smart kid. But yeah, I am. So what? As then all of a sudden, Deku shoots it, the gun, hitting the Joker, but since he's can go through, like, very, he's very, very durable, this doesn't affect him. And the, it only had, like, he doesn't have no bullets else on him, just that was enough. And the Joker just says, it's the hard way it is then. As then the Joker runs over to Deku, tries to jump towards him. Deku dodges it and then takes the, you know, the gun and smacks him in the head. Which the Joker says, oh, I had some kick. And then he knees the Joker in the face, basically. As the Joker is thinking, that, that was like bats. <sighs> Whatever. So the Joker's like, you know, trying to use a knife. He's, Zuku's dodging it and using the gun. Which then Joker takes out of his hand, kicks him. And, well, he kicks him to the wrong area. He, Zuku takes the, the bow staff and starts swinging it around. As in, all of a sudden, he's what you're gonna do with that little thing. He goes, easy. As in, basically, he just flicks a switch. It's in, oh, not nah, flick a switch. He basically moves his hand a certain way, as in, boom, it extends, it hits the Joker, sends him and fly into a wall. And the Joker was like, ah, that hurts. As Izuku just runs towards him. The Joker then tries to use the, you know, flower to shoot acid at him. He jumps in there over it, and and turns his body and slams his foot down to the Joker's head, in which, you know, he hits the ground, and when he was trying to get up, Izuku goes around him, taking the staff, and, well, telling him, saying, you never come into my house, and basically think you're gonna kill me, and take my guest, you know, the, you know, my guest in my house, basically. You may be the Joker, but you're not the king here. No one is. And the Joker goes, you little piece of... <sighs> he knocks him out. And so, I just put my the charger on. So hold on, let me check something. Yeah, so after he knocks out Joker, he lets him go. And, well, he ties up all the goons. And he does take everything off of them. All the weapons, all the gear that they have. Put in one area. The Joker had no other reinforcements, so because he thought Gan Harley was a quick and easy job, just only about like four or five guys with him. That was it. But how wrong he was. So, after he ties them all up, he goes to Harley to see how she is, even though he thinks this could have been a distraction, but Harley is perfectly safe. 
she does say, Izuku, you alright? He goes, yeah, yeah, just, you know, <laughs> uh, just a little bruise on my face, that's all. She, she goes, are you sure, basically, and he goes, yeah, don't worry. But he does turn around, close the door, locks it, and she goes, uh, what are you, and then he basically puts his hand on the side of it, and then all of a sudden the door gets reinforced. She goes, uh, was this one of your designs? He goes, mm, yeah, also my dad's. I improved on it. I mean, this security system's like works better in the house than outside. So, at least the alarms go off, so that way I can equip this house to basically have an auto defense system. She goes, wait, really? Then why you? He goes, duh. I mean, I wouldn't have enough time to like figure out how to take down the Joker. She goes, okay. She, so basically, she asks, how do you do it? He goes. Well, I knew my sh my uh, stun shotgun would work perfectly to take down three, maybe five guys. If, you know, they all came out. If that's all he had. Um, the Joker, I hit with one of the rounds. Um, I'd need to make more of my stun gun ammo, but my stun shotgun ammo, but it was only like had... I only shot one time, it took down three. I shot one time, it took down, you know, two. And then one time to shoot the Joker... Every bullet, hit, every bullet, it looked like it hit him, but he was used, so used to it, probably the shock of it, so it didn't do no effect. So, yeah, I had to fight him hand to hand, and since you kind of have seen my training area in my house, you kind of think, yeah, I'm not that slacking on my you know fighting skills. But she nods, and she blushes a little because she has seen him shirtless when doing this sometimes. So yeah. So, after them just, you know, basically there's a TV that does pop out and show the room. An hour later, though, the Batman comes in. He basically, he looks around, he sees the Joker and his goons knocked out. He's like, he's thinking, what the, who could have done this? And then they hear the voice saying, Batman, the Joker is knocked out. He's one of his goons. You probably figured out who he was after here. She's in my care and she's safe. Please leave here with the leave my premises with those well people, and do not return. He goes, sorry kid, I can't do that. Harley helped me out and she has to live her sentence. He's like, really? It's only in Gotham. Even though you are the Justice League, your jurisdiction doesn't, you know, apply in America. I mean, in Japan. So, do you really think you can do that? He's like, <laughs> I'm Batman. I can do any. He was like, really? Now that I tell the world your secret identity. He was like, oh, really? He goes, yeah. Bruce Wayne. Which Harley's shopping and then like starts laughing. She goes, Bruce Wayne? He, Izu, I know you're smart and all, but he can't be Bruce Wayne. That's impossible as basically Batman isn't laughing, isn't doing anything, just having that skull, that, you know, that cold stare, and he goes, I know that look, you're trying to play it tough, but you're also trying to figure out how, how did I, you know, figure it out, I'll meet you in person, after you get them out of here, and away, so, do you mind taking them, and Batman nods, he goes, smart kid, so he basically takes the Joker and his goons away, but he has the bat jet, so he takes them all the way back to Arkham. And then he comes back in the same, like, in a span of an hour. So yeah. So Batman comes back, and the door's fixed and all, and he's welcome in. And he was like, so. After, you know, Batman comes in, he goes, so. What do you think makes you think I'm Bruce Wayne? He goes, easy. The padding. He goes, huh? If you take away the padding of the suit and anything else, even get rid of the mask and just give you a suit and tie, maybe slick your hair back if you have a, you know, since that mask might be sweaty, so it would most likely be better, you know, when you slick your hair back, it would look like you're the Bruce Wayne. And plus, who would have, as he pulls out files, multiple papers of Wayne Tech, Somehow being used by the Batman. That should be gone, but it's not. It's there, which Harley is like... 
Even Batman shot. He was, how did you? He was, well, you should know me, Mr. Wayne. If you are him. David Shield. Izuku Shield. Pleasure to meet you again. And then he just starts chuckling. He goes, <laughs> I kid. When did you figure out? Eight years old. Because, huh? I get this. If I ever met you, and in any possible way, if I ever could have a chance to reveal your identity or get you to help me out, I would use this to not blackmail you, but to tell you. I figure out your secret identity, and with your mutual understanding, I would like for you to help me. Help me to get into, you know, into class 1A of my of UA high school. Please. In which, he goes, Harley, if I do this, do not tell no one my secret identity. Got it? He goes, she goes wait, you mean, as he takes off the mask and it's Bruce Wayne, which she's shocked, she looks at Izuku, he's like, you figured his secret identity out? At eight years old, just to confirm your suspicions, you even looked up the gear he used that has been multiple times by what should have been missing from Wayne Tech? And he goes, yeah, pretty much. In which she goes, you are the most smartest, cutest kid I've ever met. And I wish I was younger so I could date you. In which Izuku blushes and she just admits that. He's like, uh, uh, I, I mean, uh, Harley, uh. Mm. He just, which Bruce smiling, which for the first time ever, hardly shocked by. I mean, she has seen him smile, but it's just like this is weird. It's just like, uh, um, Bat, you Bat's you okay? He was like, yeah. It just seems the kid's flustered because you just told him how you feel, and then she realizes it. Her face goes red, and she then grabs a pillow and screams into it. And then she goes, you weren't supposed to know. He goes like. I do like you and all, but the age thing, and she goes, I know, I mean, you're technically 14 now, and, you know, the age here in Japan is different as long. We can date and all, but we just can't have kids. You know, can't make kids and everything. He's like, yeah, I know that, but it's like, and then she does say, there are things with time quirks that could, you know, age me back a certain way to at least maybe by four to five years or so. And he just says, or even 10. In which she goes, yeah. He goes, well, Zuku does say, there is a guy he knows that could do that. But, I mean, he did help him out. It was at his old apartment building. So, his court can only reverse someone's age down to 10 years old. Even his own. What do you mean by 10 years old? She means like 10 years of, you know, 10 years old. You know, the. He goes, oh, yeah, I'm confused with my words. It's the middle of the night. I have not slept in three days. I'm sorry. In which Bruce and Harley are shot by this. And he was like, and you were able to fight the Joker with lack of sleep. He was like, yep, lack of sleep. No sleep at all. Three days, no sleep. So amazing. She goes, so wait, you mean by ten years, he can bring me back ten years younger? Yeah, sorry. She goes, it, it's all right. Do you want to try it? And I can try to become a hero? Which Bruce, well, Batman or Bruce just feel like, are you crazy? And then both of them, Deku and her, look at him like, really? He's like, yeah, you are. I forgot <laughs> for a minute. Sorry. One of my dumb, dumb moments. But she goes, you never had one. He was like, well, I'm shocked that a kid figured out my identity at eight years old and used this all information that, that I have never told anyone or even left behind as I thought. To then see, figure out my secret identity. And. Alright so. Here's the thing. I'm gonna be living here. He goes okay. Um, I do have a Wayne Mansion in Japan. So. Why would I be living here? I'm living in Japan. I'm telling the. I'm gonna ask some people in the Justice League to. You know. Um, go there and. Look after Gotham for me. For how many months? Five and a half year and five and a half months. It was five and a half months since it's the middle. Yeah, you're right. So, all right, let's get to work. As basically, him, you know, Bruce basically lives there for a couple of days. He trains Izuku. Um, he does figure out that, at by a glance, that he is physically fit for his age. Like really, 
he asked him when did he start working out four years old he said he's like wow and basically his intelligence is on Nezu level so everything he teaches him comes naturally he does teach him everything even how to be a great detective which was somehow you know was really fast for him um he does talk he does teach him about the other you know the other robins before him like he's not gonna become a robin but they figure out the other robins you know what will work better for him and then he figured out it's tim drake tim's style of fighting is better suited for him but he mixes the you know Grayson's and Jason's fighting styles together with his also. He has a combination of all three of their fighting styles. Just to make his own. Which is surprising him, but... Yeah. In which, though, his mostly his favorite weapon is the bow staff. He already had an extended one, so it's like... They just modified it to have a shield. Um, to even have a taser on it. Where he can then like separate it and use it as um, hold on um Tom uh, weapons. You know he's able to use he'd be able to turn them into that. So yeah, he's able to do everything Batman can. Um, since he was already well tra he trained himself in mostly judo and karate and you know kickboxing and all that when you know while he was with Shield and by himself. The training with Bruce went pretty well. Um, he met Alfred, and they did ask him though during the seventh month about his gear. So he showed them his outfit, his you know hero costume he was working on, in which they they decided, well, David Shield was a very good mechanic and builder, and Zuku has become the same way, but they think. Improving on his skills would be a lot more better. So, they asked him to bring anything he had that you know he's going to use and be registered for his hero and support items. And, well, they improved the outfit, the crow outfit, to be somewhat, you know, the feathers could be used like hawk's feathers. And they have like artificial blade feathers that will basically hit the opponent but they do have like a slow knockout um, toxin that goes through them. He does have like smoke screens and trip wires, basically. He also has uh, what you can throw to you know, like these three. Okay, I'm trying to say it. But you're able to throw them. They have like. It's. Um, uh. Okay, he's able to use his grapple hook, go around the legs of someone, and basically, you know, trip them and such, pull them to him. Um, trip, not trip wires, um, he's able to trip someone with, hold on, I do not know what it is, but, you know, he does have his, he has, his, like, crow, crow rings, you know, like, batarangs, but it's just the look of a, um, just has, like, a C with them. And such, and they're like different types: explosion, flash ones, knockout ones, stun ones. Um, he's very more of a he's like likes to use strategy. He does have like the detective sense where he can use X-ray vision, well, you know, to see through the walls and such of someone. Like you can detect like any odors in the air, even follow the trail of neon lights and all that. Like, even have like a tracking signal where he can actually use it to also track someone. If he you know throws a crow rain into someone so yeah and though since he is quirkless and he is not like batman or one of the robins he does not condone this batman but he does give him like blades he does give him a blade he says this is a high frequency sonic blade you can use this to cut through anything just not people this is only to be used once and afterwards, you can you know, modify it in any way possible. Alright. He goes, alright. So why is he, you know, you giving me this? He goes, to destroy the robots. You're physically fit, yes. But it's going to be harder, you know, when you, you know, try. To fight a zero-pointer. He's like, true. Alright. So yeah, they give him a sign. You know, super, you know, high frequency sonic blade, and 
Yeah. Um, he's already starting to modify it to where uh, it can only be used only for one day. So it has to be in the sheath. As soon as it's, you know, it's in one day, the blade will stop working properly and then he'll have to modify it. So he basically mal made a malfunction on, on it. So, you know. <laughs> and Bruce knew this. So yeah. So after all that, um, the day the exam happens, Harley is with him. Bruce left her be there. Um, she has, though, Gotham does know that she's not gonna ever come back. She's not planning to ever come back, which Ivy was upset. But hey, she's she's gonna get out of good behavior. Go go to Harley, anyways. So yeah. And well, because Harley did get hit by a time cork, which was the guy that Izuku knew. And he aged her down to when she was only 15 years old. And she she goes, great, now I'm freaking 15 years old. Now I'm going to have to go through puberty all again. And then he she looks at Azuku, but with a big smile. She's like, but... And then she just, she still is able to run towards him. And, well, she jumps and he catches her. And has her arms around his neck and such. Legs around his waist. He's like... But there's this. And then she just kisses him and he's like And after, you know, that five minute kiss, he goes That can be so bad. So yeah, so she's she you know, Nezu knows about it. They doing a re villain rehab program for Harley to give her a chance, which that's the reason why Gotham is not asking for her back because she's they did say she he got hit by a cork and now she's fifteen, so they can't do anything. They like freak. <laughs> which Izuku did. <laughs> which he outsmarted Gotham City. <laughs> so yeah. And now. We're going to go to this. You know. The day of the. And, you know. Entrance exam. So. Harley's replacing Mineta. So what happens is. Deku. Harley. Go in. They have studied. Harley has studied everything. And Nezu has made a modified test for her. Just so that way. While. While Alfred did teach her. You know how to speak Japanese, she can't, you know, really read it. Alfred is still teaching her. So, yeah. And the other Bat family members are like, what? Harley is with a kid now? And Bruce says she got hit by Agent Quark. Now she's 15. We can't do nothing. They say that's BS. <laughs> In which he thinks he outsmarted me. He, he basically played me. Knew this was gonna... He did not know this was gonna happen, but he played it to his advantage. They get smart. Probably even smarter than me. Who knows? So yeah. So Izuku um, aces the test along with Harley. Which, well, and he corrected Nezu. R legit, Nezu knew this was going to happen. So he made harder questions for Deku only. And he still outsmarted him. Like, uh, well then, it seems like my little protege had gotten even smarter than me somehow. As then all of a sudden he does get a call from Batman and told him, but he knows the secret identity, and which Nezu's like, this kid, no wonder how he got so smart. He goes, yeah, he's even more dangerous now, and he's corkless, so basically the blade's already registered as a high-frequency sonic blade, so it doesn't, it can cut people, but he's only going to cut it with robots. And he goes, all right, I'll tell President Mike, and he does. President Mike does not say nothing when he sees the blade. Harley is sitting next to him. Bakugo does see him. And Baco has become less, more, less of a, you know, angry Pomeranian. Because All Might told him straight up, saying, like, you're not going to get anywhere with this attitude of yours, and I'll find a next successor. So, yeah. Um, yeah Baco just was like, okay, I'll stop being this way during the first month. So, yeah. He sees Izuku with a girl holding onto his arm, and he goes like, uh, do I know you? He goes like, oh, yeah. You're that uh, kid that tried to explode me and taking down a six-year-old kid, right? He was like, uh, wait, you're that guy who... Yeah, hey, look, sorry about that. I was just not on a good day. My mom left me, and I've been... I was alone, so I kind of was angry, and yeah. He's like, no, 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 no. Wait, what, your mom left you? He was like, yep, survived on my own for two years, and then I got adopted by David Shield. He's like, oh, wow, um, Baku Okatsuki. Izuku's shield. And then Harley says, 
Harley Quinn, it's nice to meet ya. And she goes, wait, Har yeah, don't ask questions. Like, legit, don't. She has the same name as the villain, Harley Quinn. He's like, okay. So, yeah. Um, so, after the whole entire talk and Ida being Ida, I'm gonna have to rush this a little. So, yeah. Um, Deku tells him to shut it because he's gonna explain everything. And he was like, alright, then. Thank you, you know, kid. Please sit down. Four eyes, which everyone laughs at. You know, he's like, <laughs> so yeah. So, you know, Deku never met Araka, so he does not go up to her. And, well, Harley and him are in the same area. So they decided to work together. In which, when the doors open, they rush forward. They don't let anyone get in their way. He takes out the blade. She, well, allowed to use her bat. Which, Nessie's like, I can't let him allow in this. As everyone's saying, hey, that's cheating, they have weapons. As they say, well, those two are corkless, so they have to use them. If you want them to die, then go right ahead. Try to stop them. In which, boom, like, robots are being exploded. And he's like, oh, yeah, there's no countdown for, you know, heroes in a combat. So go. So they run out. And by the time it's 20 minutes, Izuku and Harley have around well, the same amount of score. So, like, 240. And then another, like, 20... I mean, not another 20. Another, like, 30... Well, not 30. Another 15 minutes. And 300. So, yeah. And then the zero point comes out. And, well... Hold on. Never mind. So, when the zero pointer comes out, Izuku, Harley, hears someone screaming. It's, you know, Uraka. She, they run out. You know, he tells Harley to get, grab her. And she nods. She basically is able to get... Harley, no, Harley, she's able to get Uraraka out, and then Zuku basically taking the Sonic Blade, touching the button to overcharge it to make a stream slash. He basically is just holding up in the air like the Skyward Sword with both hands, and he goes, <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen, but so there's a big bang to it. And then he slashes downward with all his strength, which causes a basically electric slash that's going through the ground itself, cutting the robot into two. As it just explodes the robot instantly. In which Izuku just says. <laughs> oh, man this blade has a real kick to it. And his hands are a little bit shocked to it. And it's going to hurt for a while. But hey he did not expect it. So yeah he walks back to where Harley is. And everyone else the blade is like breaking. Well not breaking I mean it's like. Sort of circuiting, basically. He's like, I figured this is going to happen anyways. That's why I said it only to one day I can use it. And you know, Harley, you know, does put down Araka, runs over to Deku, hugs him. And she, you know, which all the guys, for some reason, feel like this guy just got a really, really, well, they think Harley's already really, really cute. So they're like, when they saw her, they were brushing. But it's like, now they see he has a, you know, this is her, you know, her boyfriend's, like, they're instantly jealous, which Uraraka was jealous, too, and, you know, Deku was just wearing just a normal, like, black, not black shirt, but a normal shirt with a hoodie over it, and since the electricity was going through the shirt, it, was, it did burn a little, it was like, not the shirt, the hoodie, it's basically, he's just shown to have a black shirt on, which Haru was like, you know, good job, you know, Zuzu, she calls him, and he goes, I forgot to figure out better nicknames. She goes, no, I like Zuzu. He's like, fine. Or Izu is better too. She goes, hmm, all right, Izu then. So she kisses on the cheek, hold out his hand, like, hold on to his arm, and they're just walking away. In which everyone, all the guys are looking at him with death glares, and all the girls are looking at Harley with death glares. And well, President Mike's saying, that's it, everyone. You know, try to go to a hero school, and the next school basically over Shiketsu or any other. We all need heroes out there. Alright, see ya. In which, a week later, pa well, a week passes, and Harley and him basically get get into class 1A. She replaces Mineta. He did not get in. So yeah, they're happy. You know, They do kiss, and well, they decide just to go out. They tell Bruce. Bruce is proud of them, especially Harley. And Nezu, you know, basically had your name cleared so you're allowed to use Harley Quinn. She says I was using it anyways. He was like, Yeah, I know, but still 
no one can say enough of him since you're well, 15 again now. So, eh, you're welcome. Thank you know, say you're welcome. I mean, she he basically just says, "Thank your boyfriend," which she always says she does. So, yeah. As then he sees her bat family, you know. Um, Grayson, um, Jason, Todd, D you know, Tim, Drake, um, his son, and Alfred, Gordon, Barbara, you know, Batgirl, basically. And it's like, she goes, hi, everyone, as they go, hi, Harley. So, you know, Jason says, so this was like like when you were 15 years old. She goes, mm-hmm. Jason says, not gonna lie, you don't look any different than when you were 25. She just smiles and he goes, really? He goes, yeah. <sighs> so he walks away. Everyone meets Izuku. They ask him, so since you're, you know, since you idolize, you know, Batman told us, well, Bruce told us you idolize him, what's your costume? He says, a crow look. He goes, huh? I don't know why. I like Rob. I idolize Batman, but I also like the look of, well, as he points to Tim's look, like in the picture, he says, but with a more of a, you know, like a more black, a little bit of red, with a crow. I always like crows better than Robins. <laughs> in which they all say, okay, then. So, yeah. So, they they celebrate for a little bit, and um, that's why I'm going to leave it off, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed this what-if. Tried it out. Anyways, bye, everyone. Have a nice day and night, wherever you are, and bye.